Welcome back, Battle Brothers, and who knows, maybe even a Battle Sister or two. I'm going to start a new campaign today. Uh, we're going to do the Northern Raiders. Actually, it's funny, I started doing a cultist run. The cultist origin is very different. I haven't really messed around with it too much. I thought it'd be kind of a fun uh, adventure in some ways. And then uh, I thought, you know, it's pretty esoteric. A lot of the lessons learned from it won't be applicable to other runs. And uh, my few my few little subscribers seem to be people who, what I was targeting, are kind of new to the game or had trouble with it and still trying to learn the basics and uh, get a successful run together. So the Northern Raiders, I think, in many ways is a a good background to start with. It's got some challenges, but some perks that will help you as well. So what you get when you start a Northern Raider run you get three, I think level three, yeah, three Northern Raiders or Barbarians. So they're actually pretty good troops. And you get a monk, and the monk is uh, guaranteed to have three stars in Resolve. So this guy could be a very good Standard Bearer guy for you. Uh, actually, sometimes they get even higher than this. From my recollection, it's a little on the low end for Resolve. But, again, with three stars, he'll level up very quickly. Now, theoretically, uh, you, you know, you could try to recruit somebody who's good at fighting and has high Resolve. Um, those guys are hard to find. They're really expensive. And you're, the damage output of your standard bearer is usually pretty minimal. So, uh, this guy is a good investment long term. Potentially uh, has some weaknesses here. Monks are already pretty weak on hit points, although f almost 50, so it's not terrible. Um, what else do we got? The barbarian background, starting origin, whatever. The one of the perks they have is a higher percentage chance of recovering loot at the end of battles. Um, it's kind of a percentage-based random chance based off of. Um, the status of the items that are dropped uh, for armor very much on the how much durability percentage is remaining uh, with weapons as someone commented earlier uh, less so unless the weapon is heavily damaged maybe so um, having a perk where it increases the likelihood of getting those items is pretty handy uh, it doesn't make it so much so that it's going to make a lot of money for you probably but if you smash somebody up and have a good armor you have a good chance of recovering that armor and then fixing it up for yourself, which can be handy sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes it's not. But um, The other thing that's unusual about this start is two of the human factions uh, are hostile to you. Those are typically the two most northern ones. The only human faction that is friendly to you are the southern city-states and whatever the most southern normal human faction is, typically. So... Uh, let's take a look. So you can see, yep, the northern faction. These green places are hostile. That's why their names are in red. This middle faction is hostile to me. And then what is friendly to me? So obviously, like I said, the southern states, city-states, and then this kingdom down here. City. Castle. City. Castle. City. So... That is, in some ways, kind of a crappy start for us uh, because these are all the cities where we can get quests to begin with are spaced out. This is a little better. I mean, they're still kind of far away, but these southern states don't often have very good quests for especially early parties. The good thing is, although because these places to raid are far away, we can, if we want, we can attack the caravans and patrols and things of these kingdoms and get loot from them and then sell them here. But we have to travel all the way over because they're all pretty far away or like these guys are separated by two mountain ranges. So not ideal, but we can make it work. Uh, so we don't have a great place to start, but we have to come down to the south and just start trying to bounce between here for missions. Um... The good news is there are all the kind of cities that we want. This is a mining place, so there's cheap tools there. Uh, this looks like there's a mine as well. 
as a citadel into the mountains. But citadels often have relatively cheap tools. What's this one? Uh, a small village that's not great. If there's a massive citadel, they'll have better prices for selling goods, and they'll have a larger supply of items for us to buy and recruit. And, yeah, small keep. So, And these southern cities have good prices for selling, but they're expensive for buying. We're going to also have to take a look at... Why isn't it opening it up here? Here we go. Look at our dudes. We start with a war dog as well, a war hound. And couple loot items we actually have a decent amount of starting money uh, or at least we can once we sell this stuff take all the gear off our dudes so we can kind of get a accurate idea of how much fatigue they have and then we can start kind of deciding who's more important to keep alive what jobs to go for drunkard drunkard's kind of nice does a lot more damage 10% is a significant amount of damage and more resolve, which is always handy. Negative melee scale, only 5%, but this guy isn't super high to begin with. 55, he's only got one star. So he'll never be a uh, melee rock star. But extra damage is always handy. Uh, what's this guy have? Fear of green skins, uh, annoying. But two stars decent I mean it's not super high but a decent amount here a lot of fatigue and with two stars and health so this guy potentially could carry a shitload of armor uh, let's see I want to say with two stars you're looking at three I believe yeah I think it's an average of three a turn when you level up so that's the case you get to 88 without take picking the uh, gifted perk so not on the high end but doable for a two-handed guy build especially again with all the fatigue and health he'll have so let's mark him now to build towards that this guy is just going to be a dude and then the final guy okay 58 they're both the same category he also has and I think that's standard. I think on the Barbarian start, the the stars are pretty much the same for all three of these guys. Uh, the the little, uh, they're not perks. I can't remember the word. But whatever these little attributes are, these will vary between them when you start. But the stars will be the same for all three of these guys when you start the Barbarian background, Northern Barbarian background. So again, two stars, two stars, 102 and a star there. This guy has pretty much the same potential to be a two-handed guy. Uh, typically, fatigue is a little bit more important than health, uh, just because fatigue, A, helps him wear more armor, and B, if he's swinging a big two-handed weapon around, and he should have the berserk perk so he can swing more when he kills stuff, uh, he'll run out of fatigue very quickly. So uh, the more you can have there, the more killing and longevity he has in combat all right so to me what that means is these two are the ones that are more important to keep alive this guy is less important and these two have the higher weapon skill to start with so we want to give them our better weapons what of these two cleavers and a axe hammer <laughs> which one's our better weapon well, we're going to be primarily in the beginning fighting people with very light armor. So we don't need the armor piercing capability. We need the damage ability. The hammer does 20 to 30 damage. The cleavers do 30 to 40 damage. So these guys should get the cleavers. And we'll put them on the ends uh, so they can kind of distribute the damage. And this guy we'll put in the middle. Uh, he's less accurate. And... Uh, so he's going to hit less, so we'll give him the less critical weapon. We could, if you want, you could say, well, the, this guy gets the bonus of damage. Let's give him the most damaging weapon and potentially do even more when we hit stuff. It's only a difference of 3%, but uh, I think we're going to keep it this way. Now, armor, 65, 95, 75. So we'll go the guys on the ends get the better armor. The guy in the middle gets the weakest. And the same. 
Maybe we'll mix it up. Nah, we'll keep it the same. This guy has the most armored. This guy has the medium armored. And this guy has the lightest armored. This dude, this dude doesn't have a weapon. Um, we can give the dog to one of these guys like he started. But releasing the dog takes action points. I think it's... Mm, well, we can find out. It takes three action points and 15 fatigue. So... If you release that dog, especially if you're already in combat, you're getting one less attack to release the dog. Let's just give it to this guy back here. He doesn't have anything to do anyway. Um, he could move around, release the dog, and now the dog's contributing, and we're not losing an attack. All right, so if we're going to go with... His name is... <laughs> his name's Hugger. That's so nice. Um, there. Two defenses. Okay. Uh, let's just kind of beef up a bit. Three defense will want to take, because he needs some kind of defense. And while four is nice, fatigue, again, is critical to getting heavy armor. And we want to go with student, so we can level up quickly. Uh, unlike the wild men and stuff, these guys don't get the penalty to experience. But, uh, I mean, this is still always a good perk to have. Now, the big question is, do we go with Gifted, which is kind of handy sometimes, but not essential? Uh, I think Colossus is always handy, especially when you've got a decent amount of health anyway, just to boost them up and keep them alive. And I think ultimately we'll go with that. Uh, this will just help them survive the early game when they don't have shields or going to get hit. Same with this guy. Sure. It's important to hit. And again. Okay, defense. So, this guy is not a two handed weapon melee monster. He is a dude. So, while two is good, uh, these are also very high, and it's important for this guy to have some staying power. So,. Uh, at least for that one turn, I think we'll keep it where it was. And uh, we'll give him that as well. 83, that's good. And this guy is a two-handed beast. He doesn't have any stars in defense, so when we find a three, we probably have to take it, which means we're going to forego the health boost that time. All right, so this time he's only getting a one there, so that's a perfect time for us to get health. do 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 now, the one thing that's a little risky is these guys, I mean, it's not terrible, but their resolve, 40, you know, 48 is actually pretty good, but 40 and 41 is good for a starting, you know, brand new dude, but it's not where they want to be, especially without being boosted from a standard bearer. So we have to be a little careful on resolve and hopefully get this guy leveled up and boosting them with a banner soon. All right, so we have to head south. Now, typically any of these towns we go near uh, could spawn a militia or a, mil a, a troop force, right? Uh, the town you start by will not initially. You've already fought and defeated the militia here, uh, according to the story that you read at the beginning. So we can ignore that. If you don't have the little... Um, mod downloaded to auto pause when you first encounter or spot an enemy unit be very careful when you're traveling through any of this territory because there could be mercenary units there could be patrols there could be all sorts of stuff so and try to stay away don't go right up next to these towns because they'll spawn stuff you're not prepared to fight so we're going to go shy of this one and then just kind of go around it uh, yeah, I think if we go around it this way, it'll still end up being fast and trying to go through all these woods. So, travel along. Now, you've got the option, too. Do you want to recover your um, reputation with these cities or not? Um, gradually, over time, they will return from their hostile attitude to a neutral one. So... If you don't attack their stuff, uh, it'll go back to neutral, and eventually you can get quests and things from them. Uh, or you can farm them as a source of income. That, one guard, 
and a few hands. The hands are chumps and easy to kill. The guard will actually be a, a minor threat, but we're not level one noobs. These are level three guys with pretty good equipment. So uh, let's go ahead and kill these guys. I think we can take that pretty safely. These guys will not typically, but we'll wait, charge out at us. Uh, their job is to guard the caravan, so they're going to stick with the caravan. I, I mean, very much so, you can see. Uh, yeah, whatever. And that caravan guard is okay. Um, the sword will hit a decent amount, which is annoying. Uh, but it's not going to do a lot of damage. And some of our guys have decent armor. He has decent armor too, unfortunately. So that will be a bit of a problem, but... Then the big question is, who do we focus on? Do we try to kill him first? I think ultimately our better bet is going to be to kill the caravan hands first. They're um, squishier. And hopefully that will drop his morale and then we can swarm him at the end. Uh, sure. This guy will come all the way over here. Over here. I don't want him to get into combat. And we'll wait. <laughs> He's working his way around. It's fine. We'll wait. Alright, so I don't want to release the dog yet. Because he's going to get the ghost. So I want to be able to move in first and swing, I think. So we'll wait. Alright, let's come in and start whacking on people. 64 is all right. Um, I'm going to wait with him. When this guy comes over, we might as well try to hit him with the hammer, since he's the only one who's got any armor. And that guy is done. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait again. There you go. One down. 17 is not great. He does have the axe destroying ability and he's got plenty of fatigue although I kind of want that axe to be honest yeah we'll just go for it just a regular attack because we can chop these guys up pretty easily I think as you can see cleavers are brutal we'll wait hopefully this guy will walk into there as well and this is just a death trap and it's perfect <laughs> and now he can release the dog this guy actually is kind of set up well to kill the dog, but those dogs are pretty tough. Uh, 22. Let's wait. I'm not going to hit him right now. We'll see if he shield walls again. He did. Brutal. That dog is going to kill that guy. <laughs> That's fine, though. 22. Yep. Oh, well... <laughs> I don't really care about killing the donkey, but whatever. Okay, we could attack here, uh, but instead I'm going to wait and let this guy come up, and then we'll uh, get the extra bonus from outnumbering him some more. Or, yeah, uh, He's not going to move in. Now, theoretically, if he moved in and engaged, he would give these guys a bonus to hit because he is engaged, but he's just get killed. So, wait. Man, he's fatigued. He's getting pretty tired now. And all these attacks against him are going to fatigue him even more. Okay. And now we just beat him down. He's too tired to do both, so he just took one attack. And now he'll be easy to hit. And it's over. And if you've never attacked a caravan, yeah, once you kill the guards, the donkey dies automatically and you get the loot. And the loot can be pretty good. Look at that. We've got two pieces of quality wood. We've got some food and some equipment and money. And we got the shield and the good armor. So that's excellent. Uh, we've even, I think... Okay, we got 16 tools. So let's see. This guy is at 95 and that armor's probably around there. Yep, 95. So let's upgrade this guy. Upgrade this guy. Um, you know, for now, I'm actually, it's as crazy as it sounds. I'm going to repair the shield 
and repair this armor. Actually, I'm going to give the armor to him. There. We'll give him something. Oh, he doesn't have a helmet, so I still don't want to get him in combat yet. Um, these guys have a decent amount of armor, and they hit, you know, they get extra damage. If they don't have a shield, they're using a one-handed weapon with two hands. And depending on what opponents we come up against, I may give probably this guy, because he doesn't have much of a helmet, I may give him a shield. Um, but I don't think it's essential. And I always forget, let's give this guy a bandage so he can patch people up. All right, looks good. So that is one of the perks. I mean, that was a decent amount of loot for pretty minimal risk. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Um, you know, we might, let's just say we're gonna go to this place and we'll see how the auto navigate leads us. And again, hopefully anyone we bump into it should auto pause. And pretty quiet. Oh, Noxzerers. Now, uh, since we've got the image is a giant Noxzerer, that usually means that there's a giant Noxzerer in the group, which is not what I want to mess with. So I will ignore them. That doesn't mean that I'll get away, but we should move faster than them, so it shouldn't be an issue. All right, now, while I was going to this location, I can't actually take quests there. So let's actually go into this place. There we go. Simple enough. We've navigated south. We're in the quest zone. We can start leveling up and potentially start moving north later to do some raiding. Let's take a look at what quests they got. And the good thing is uh, we could take some of the combat quests and have a pretty good chance of coming out successfully because we've got three actual, you know, decent fighters with decent gear. Uh, now, you have to be careful. These, and especially caravan missions, if you're on a caravan that's supposed to go into the northern area where it's dangerous, they will attack you. So you can't just... <laughs> You have to be careful where you're going to go. And even if you have a caravan mission in these southern areas, if some kind of patrol comes down or mercenaries working for a northern city comes down that's hostile to you, uh, you know they, they may attack you while you're doing your caravan mission. So you got to be a little careful about that. So before I can take this, i got to see exactly where it is. Uh, I, I mean, it's a small amount, so it's going to be close, so I'll accept it without haggling. We're going to go to Tarwa, which is one of the southern city-states. That one. Eh, I mean, okay, I guess. I don't have anything else to do, so... Let's... I got plenty of food, so let's knock it out. Zoom along. And simple enough. A couple more one skulls, which is good. Uh, nomads, okay. Bandits. Uh, yeah, I'm not super excited about fighting these bandits right now. Again, the southern bandits, I usually have less armor, but I think higher defense or a little tougher to hit. And my guys are not super high level at attacking. And they don't have, like, spears or anything. You know, easier to hit with weapons, so. Uh, monsters, looks like we're talking about stuff. Uh, again, I don't want to mess with that right now. I don't really want to hire anybody. We can at least take a look. Mm, nope. Nope, nope. So, let's go to this place since we're down here and see what they've got. I would probably like a caravan mission with these guys. would be nice. Or delivery just to earn a little bit more money. Let's see what they got. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Again, some of these southern creatures can be a little dangerous when you're first starting. Okay, so two days to the northeast. To Sudshansa. Uh, okay, now let's take a look where Sudshansa is. Northeast, he said. Okay, so that one... Since we're not going into the hostile territory, it's pretty unlikely that one of them is going to come attack us. Uh, and it's not that far, to be honest. And they're offering a decent amount of money. So, I think we can take that contract. 
without too much difficulty. Take a look and see what they've got here. Actually, this might be a good place that they've got some shields available. A little pricey, but I could sell my stuff. These are decent prices. Do they have any? Actually, let's buy these shields. Uh, I, I mean, I could give my priest a pitchfork. <laughs> I mean, it seems kind of silly, um, but he's not doing anything else. Yeah, I mean, this is not the best. I could hold on for better prices, but it's going to take forever to build up a lot of rapport with these southern cities. So, sell those. we got a decent amount of money now. You can see if they've got anybody else that might be worth taking. They do not. I mean, these are all kind of mediocre backgrounds. I mean, this is the best of the bunch, and it's still not great. Um, they do have some specialty shops. Theoretically, I could buy some stuff. But the armor I've got for them... Oh, actually, there's one piece of armor. I could buy a helmet for the one dude who's got... Crap. These are mediocre. It's only 30. Oh, and the other thing is, if you don't know, these specialty shops have higher prices so look i bought this same shield um in the regular marketplace for like 125 but if you come to the armor shop it's 157 uh, these will have the armor shops will have usually better selection and higher quality you know like this heavy armor and stuff but you'll pay a higher price for it if you buy it from here so if you come back to the marketplace well i, I guess i bought them but uh, even these crappy helmets are cheaper than they were in the armor shop. And unfortunately, 30, 30, they don't have anything better than these 30 level helmets, which I'm guessing is pretty close to this. Yeah, so that's not any better. Uh, I would like some tools unless I get attacked on the road. These are a little expensive, but if I get attacked... And I can't repair my stuff. That's even worse. I guess. Yep, I guess we're going to have to leave it at that. So, let's equip our dudes. Uh, you are going to take the pitchfork. You guys will all take shields. I guess, theoretically, I could look and see who's got the worst range defense. Four, zero, and five. So, the guy at the worst range defense definitely has to get this shield because it gives a bonus he's next worst and he's the best uh, i could i could buy an overpriced hat it doesn't matter so buy that one for my priest just to help make sure he doesn't get an accidental error to the head that insta kills him and we're good now Normally, these ambitions are pretty standardized. This one, as you see, <laughs> you won't see this normally. This one is kind of unique for our group because we're raiding, we could raid caravans. Um, this isn't a bad one to take, but we're not going to be raiding them for a while now. Um, we could potentially do that one. This one's going to take a long time. We're not going to build up rapidly. Uh, but this is probably the one we'll get the quickest. So we'll focus on that one for now. And we'll start moving up north. I'm surprised. Yeah, I was, gonna say, I was just about to say, I'm surprised we're not being attacked along the way here. Uh, what is that, three? If it's just three, I'm not worried at all. Yeah, they're not going to come after us. I mean, hyenas are... I, I would rather fight dire wolves and hyenas. Seven brigands. Are they all thugs? Oh, and a poacher. These guys might be dumb enough to attack us, and we should slaughter them. No, they're not going to do it. Let's take a look and see what they've got. See, this place would have been nice to sell that wood to since they uh, need it. Uh, I don't really need any of this. In some ways, we're good. We could look at people, I guess. Anyone worth hiring? Nope. 
So I think we're probably good for now. Oh, hey, they're going to bring it. I don't know who the... Oh, it's my caravan and guards. Um, let's... So I kind of was tempted to move him here and then team up on this guy. I... And that's a terrible, terrible flail, but I still don't want him hitting this guy in the head with it. So maybe I'll move him here. Move him in here. He's got at least some headgear. Oh, that's even better. Move him in here. Now, hit that guy. 68 to hit, 68 to hit. Um, these two are going to hit him, so let's try to kill him. Perfect. Missed. And nice clean kill. <clears throat> I hope he flanks around. Yep. So, reinforce. That's a level 2 flail into the head of this guy. Uh, so that's obviously a weakness he's going to have for a while. But this guy's going to die, I'm pretty sure. Even the monk got somebody. Um, I guess he can move up. Yeah, he can move up to here. That's not going to one-shot anybody. Two misses. Oh, that's pretty brutal. Um, he'll... Let's go over here. Yeah, we can keep that guy on the low ground. We'll trap this guy on the low ground. Start whooping him. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I don't want to chase this guy and get myself onto low ground. So we'll just kind of... follow along, I guess. And we'll kill these two, and then the last guy will run. I mean, theoretically, I could try to kill and maybe run this guy down, but... Let's... He's done. He's really done now. Uh, so, do I... I think I'm going to run this guy down. <clears throat> He'll wait. He'll take a step forward. Actually, we might get a chance at this guy, too. Uh, or this guy. This cleaver's so good. Perfect. Might, might get this guy. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to get stabbed in the face. Oh, I don't want this guy to steal my kill. He's going to do it, though. Oh, well. So, decent amount of experience. And a little bit of loot. And our monkey leveled up. Oh, I haven't even released the dog. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's not going to hurt to have that. This is the most important one. Uh, fatigue or range defense doesn't get shot up. Uh, they're both handy. Um, I guess we'll take that one. It's maxed out. And he needs to learn as well. Did I get any helmets? I did. This helmet is better than the crap he's wearing. It's not any better than that. I'm not going to waste money or er, tools, which ultimately is money, repairing that piece of crap. Um, well, I don't know about the spears. We may or may not keep them. Our guys have better weapons, and they've got enough accuracy that they can use them effectively. But if we hire someone... A marksman and some raiders. Uh, those guys will crush me. More than likely. Especially if we're not fully healed. Well. It's at least maybe worth a look. Oh, well, okay, there's two groups. It's not... See, that, a few thugs and a few raiders, like three and three, I, I would be confident in fighting those guys. <laughs> I like how they just skip the one guy and come right after me. Yeah, so now it's both groups together. Twelve dudes. Uh, there's no way. So, unfortunately... We're going to have to... Darn it! <laughs> now, which one is this? A few thugs and a few raiders. 
depending on what the Raiders have, we might have a chance against those guys. How oh, is he healed up? I mean, he's three hit points down. Do I risk it? Yeah, whatever. YOLO, right? We can at least take a look. If these Raiders are actually pretty pimped out. Um. Is, oh, okay. So, it, wait, that's a Raider? <laughs> okay, so that's a pretty poorly equipped Raider. Um, this guy, eh, he's got some decent armor, and the axe will hurt a lot. But he doesn't have anything on his head, so if you get lucky with a single headshot, he's fucked. And this raider, he's got no shield, you know, okay armor, but nothing special. Uh, so yeah, these actually, these raiders are not too scary at all. And thugs. Oh, the thugs. We can just blitz through them pretty easily. Uh, he'll wait. Now, if the raiders start throwing shit at me, this could be slightly more annoying. Um, the question is, do I try to run up here? Sure. I can't run him up there, just in case they come up, but we can come to here for now. Uh, you can wait. You can wait. You can come up here now. Okay. Uh, step over here. So what we'll do next turn is he'll step down. This guy will step up and just start swinging at that guy with a bonus from the high ground, and it'll force the issue, and we'll have the high ground. So if they want to keep playing this game, we can, I think, win with it. Good, good, good. Yep, now that forces the issue. Uh, sure, let's just take a couple whacks. Uh, I will not step forward with him. I'm a little worried. Someone will step in here and take a swing at him, but he can take one attack, and then whoever's here is going to get overwhelmed. I'm a little upset that this guy's engaged right away. I was hoping to kill some people first, but what are you going to do? There, that's... Actually, this is a nice guy to have. He's got shit armor and no extra defense. So he'll be an easy one to overwhelm and kill quickly. Uh, it's a little unfortunate now this guy's exposed, but... Uh, no. Let's wait. Let's do one hit on him. And then we'll see if he can finish him off. And I can do another attack on that guy who's a bigger threat. <coughs> And everyone's morale goes down, which is great. Um, let's hurt that guy. Oh, that's not good. He missed. <sighs> now, here's the question. Do I swing at him? Less chance to hit or him? If he can lower some morale. He might shield wall again, which would be handy. One down. Hey, we might lose that guy. Oh, actually. Go get him, dog. Doge. What, what are you doing, <laughs> you stupid dog? How are you going? <laughs> That's not helpful at all. All right. Um, it'd be nice if I had a shield and I could just push him away, but I don't. Oh! The Hail Mary shot lands. That guy got fucked up. That's what you get for not wearing a helmet. <laughs> All right. I yeah, see he tried to shield while I'm away. I mean, sure, we're going to swing at him. All right. Now we're in pretty good shape. Perfect. Uh, step on down. Uh, he can step down and threaten both. Kill him so he gets the boost to experience instead of the dog killing him. I think if the dog kills him, everyone just gets the, the shared experience amount instead of the, the boost for actually killing him. <laughs> uh, he can step up here, gets the bonus to hit, and doesn't trigger the repost. 70% is still worth a swing, I think. 
and beautiful leveled up got some even better gear now uh, in fact this axe is a better weapon than that hammer axe thing that we've got i don't know if it's it might be better than the cleavers we have too so that's excellent but you can see that was i don't want to say it was a near fight i mean we won pretty handily we had some people get roughed up a little bit and if we had tried to fight with five more raiders and a marksman we would have gotten smoked so let's repair that repair that repair that um those shields are fine we'll sell that level up hugger <laughs> huggy man um yeah i've got to take the four while i've got it there and what else can we take with you He's going to take Brawny, so I might as well take it now. This is just a dude. Okay, he's got three. Three. Got to take the three. And he... We'll give him the shield perk. He could take Brawny, but really he's not that overloaded. We don't have heavy armor for him to wear. This will give him more defense. His defense was 25. Now it's 28. And eventually, he'll probably have a heater shield, and he'll get even more of a boost from it. So, that'll be good. Uh, while I'm here, just grab another shield for him before I forget. Okay, more attack. This defense is not high enough to take. The resolve is not high enough to take. Uh, yes. <sighs> I don't normally take range defense. Theoretically, I could take it at this point. Um, just a, a little bit of assistance to stop from getting shot. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> These guys normally wear so much armor, and they get into melee quickly enough that they get cover. I, I really skimp on range of defense. And it causes some hardships, but no matter what you pick, you get hardships, and that usually ends up working out for me pretty well. And we'll see if it bites me. And he's going to be a two-handed guy, so let's give him that. And we're good to go. And let's come up to here. Ah, we did have a guy kind of fucked up, though. So, let's see. He's a little roughed up. He's in fine shape. This guy can't fight. This guy could fight. Do I have any better any armor that's repaired? I mean, it's 69. Nice. So, he should be able to roll. He should be able to roll. He should be able to roll. We could tag along with this company here, and they, and us together, should be able to take these guys out. And again, we might get, if we kill just one or two of these raiders, you might get a little bit of experience and a little bit of equipment. We'll move up here behind the cover, since we don't know where their marksman is. Okay, the good thing is he's got a bow and a crossbow. Soldiers will wreck these guys. Um, <laughs> but we might be able to run this archer down or maybe someone else in the background. But we have to be quick because these guys are going to make short sure well. <laughs> He's going to run away from us. I can't blame him. Mm. A little dangerous, but again, we have to rush. The good thing is, if they kill this guy quickly enough, they may help out here. Oh, he ran. That's interesting. I was hoping we'd be able to swarm one of these two guys. Uh, this guy has an arming sword, which is nice. Uh, we're not going to attack guess we'll release the dog here I mean they're both hard to hit I guess theoretically I could have well it should have made a difference all right I have a post is a little dangerous to attack into yeah 32% we're not gonna do that because get hit 
This guy, however, might as well take some swords at him. Oh, that's good. Hit him. I think. Uh, he's still reposting, so we're going to wait. Yeah, he's running now. No. Ah. Uh, still not going to... I'm just going to get hit and not kill him. going to wait. He's still reposting. They're going to finish him off. I may not get a kill at all out of this, unfortunately. Uh, oh, he's still reposting. That's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> he's, he's very eager. Now, you can... You can shield wall the guy. And that pushes him away. And if you see, he's not reposting anymore. Um... It, it didn't help me in this particular case because I don't. This guy's already swung, uh, but shield walling people will remove some of those effects. In fact, yeah, he wasn't shield walling beforehand. But all right, uh, let's wait with you. That's partially why. Now his armor's broken. And he's hurt. And I was thinking my hammer here would be able to hit him too. Uh, but perfect. At least we got somebody out of it, right? And as long as you kill somebody, you get the loot from the group as well. So a couple of tools, some money, some food, and we got a sword and a very nice helmet. Now that sword actually is an excellent piece of equipment. It's worth a lot of money as well if you want to sell it. All right, didn't get much there. Uh, we'll give him the resolve. He has to have that. Um, yeah, that's, again, the minimum for fatigue. Let's give him health and range defense. Help keep him alive a bit. Uh, we'll go with the Fortified Mind. Boost him up a little bit already. And if we can get him a standard, that'll be even better. Uh, I need to tell them to start repairing this good equipment. And then again, we'll start... In fact, once this all gets repaired, we'll divvy it out. Significant upgrades in armor and weaponry. That's a little... Shitty burg here probably won't have any people to hire. I mean, you can always hire a farmhand eh, for 150. A brawler might be at least worth a gamble. And if he's not anything special, we could get rid of him. He's got good defense, good resolve. Doesn't have any points, but he's still got 103 to start with. You know. As crazy as it is, I had, I've been having a lot of fun with uh, Fearsome in the Fear Builds. That's one of the reasons I was thinking about going with the cultist background, trying to make a whole party <laughs> based off of dudes with Fearsome and just high resolve. Um, maybe I'll make this guy a dude that specializes in uh, Fearsome. I'll call him the uh, a Fear Dude. You know, and there's guides, look. There are guides that try to build optimal stuff and... Um, don't get too hung up on that. Uh, first of all, if you look around, different people have different optimal builds for people. This game is pretty good about having a lot of viable variety in your builds. That's why people like to experiment with it. Um, you know, when I build this guy up, trying to really focus on someone who's good with fearsome, uh, it may work, it may not. Or it may work, but it could be more optimal or better a different way yeah that's fine whatever <laughs> have fun play around you know there are obviously some stupid builds if he's going to be a melee guy i don't give him the crossbow perk but some people do make hybrid guys if they've got eh, like witch hunters or mercenaries cell swords if they have high melee and ranged they'll put them in the back level up both give them a crossbow and a pole arm and make them kind of a hybrid shooty melee dude uh you know Experiment, have fun, and uh, you can do okay. Uh, I'm not going to equip him yet, because I'm going to wait for all the stuff to get done. And I think, honestly, this is probably a good time to to close out. So what do we got here? We have traveled down, got to our 
kind of level up home grounds, got a couple fights, hired a dude, and got a pretty good jump on some decent equipment to arm our guys with. Uh, I don't think, I think I want to stay with this core of five people for a little bit longer before I hire somebody else. Um, one, I need to get better gear to help keep the guys who I'm fighting with alive. Again, you don't want to lose, losing people is part of the game. Don't get too uh, upset if it happens. But ideally, if you're investing experience and time in people, you don't want to lose them. And the best way to lose them is to equip them with suboptimal gear because you can't afford it and don't have it. Spend the time, equip your people well so they survive the fights, and then slowly grow. Usually is the better way to go. So it's a good stop point for now. Uh, we'll see how the next episode goes.